Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront with me, Craig. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're diving into a crucial topic, knowing when your 401k is too aggressive. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. If you find this content helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated with all our latest videos. Let's get into it. A 401k retirement plan stands as one of the most favored methods to accumulate savings for retirement while also reaping some tax advantages. However, these plans often fall short in providing adequate guidance on effective management. This leads participants to either end up with extremely aggressive portfolios or, as experts frequently observe, portfolios that are excessively conservative, showing minimal growth year after year. Understanding and managing the aggressiveness of your 401k plan is crucial. Here's a comprehensive guide to help you determine if your retirement plan is too aggressive and the steps you can take to adjust it appropriately. Defining an aggressive 401k investment. When financial experts refer to an aggressive investment strategy, they typically mean the proportion of your assets invested in stocks or stock funds. Stocks, while being a potentially lucrative long-term investment, are prone to significant short-term fluctuations. This volatility poses a risk, especially for individuals nearing retirement. If your retirement account is predominantly or entirely composed of stocks or stock funds, it is considered aggressive. Adopting an aggressive stance may be advantageous if you have a considerable amount of time before retirement, but it can be financially disastrous if you require the funds within a short period, such as less than five years. To mitigate this risk, investors can diversify by incorporating more bond funds into their portfolios or even by holding certificates of deposit, CDs. A significant downturn in the market just before retirement can severely impact an individual's retirement standard of living, states Dr. Robert Johnson, a finance professor at Creighton University's Hyder College of Business. Dr. Johnson references those who retired at the end of 2008 and were fully invested in the Standard & Poor's 500 Index, S&P 500, which includes many leading companies. If they were invested in the S&P 500, they would have witnessed a 37% decline in their assets within one year, he explains. Conversely, those who had diversified their investments into bonds or cash would have experienced a much smaller overall decline, though any investments in the S&P 500 would have suffered similar losses, their diversified portfolios would have cushioned the overall impact. This principle of diversification is vital in ensuring that your portfolio is not excessively aggressive. Signs, your 401k is too aggressive. If you suspect that your portfolio may be too aggressive, here are three indicators to watch for. One, significant fluctuations in account balance. While it can be exhilarating to see rapid growth in your account balance, it could also signal that your 401k is overly invested in stock funds, lacking safer alternatives. For instance, if an individual has an account balance of $100,000 and sees it grow to $110,000 in one month, indicating a 10% increase, it suggests a heavy investment in stocks, says Matthew Trujillo, a certified financial planner at Center for Financial Planning in Southfield, Michigan. This rapid growth feels rewarding when the market is rising, but the investor should be prepared for significant paper losses during downturns, similar to what was experienced in March and April of 2020, Trujillo adds. Two, frequent worry about your 401k. If market downturns cause you excessive worry, it might indicate that your investments are too aggressive. If an individual tends to withdraw, from their investments due to volatility, it suggests that the portfolio is too aggressive for their risk tolerance, notes Randy Carver, president and CEO of Carver Financial Services in the Cleveland area. 
While stocks are more volatile, they are also among the most effective tools for wealth accumulation over time, despite rising interest rates and historically high bond yields. If investments are not set to grow sufficiently to meet long-term needs, they are too conservative, says Trujillo. The key is to evaluate trends over longer periods, such as two to three years or more, rather than just one or two months. Three, imminent need for cash without adequate provision. If you anticipate needing cash within the next few years, your 401k should reflect this by adjusting its investment strategy. This does not mean selling everything and moving entirely to cash, but it could involve directing new contributions into cash or lower risk bond funds, gradually reducing the overall aggressiveness. To assess your plan's aggressiveness, consider the rule of 100, as suggested by Chris Keller, partner at Kingman Financial Group in San Antonio. According to this rule, you subtract your age from 100 to determine the percentage of your allocation to stock funds. For instance, a 30-year-old should allocate 70% of their 401k to stocks. Naturally, this rule adjusts the risk level as you approach retirement. Keller emphasizes the importance of reducing risk for older investors. Losing half of your portfolio at age 70 can drastically impact your retirement lifestyle. Determining the appropriate level of aggressiveness for your 401k. The appropriate level of aggressiveness for your investments depends on several key factors. One, future financial needs. If you anticipate needing a substantial amount of money for retirement or aim to maintain a luxurious lifestyle, a more aggressive investment approach is necessary. Conversely, if your financial needs are modest, you can afford to adopt a less aggressive strategy. Two, savings ability. If you are capable of saving a significant amount of money, you can afford to take on less investment risk and still achieve your financial goals. On the other hand, if your savings ability is limited, you may need to invest more aggressively to reach your objectives. Three, time horizon. The more time you have until you need to access your funds, the less aggressive you need to be. A longer time horizon allows you to endure market fluctuations and benefit from the compounding returns of stocks. If you have several decades before retirement or even a full decade, you have ample time to ride out market volatility. Four, risk tolerance. If you have a low tolerance for risk, you may prefer a less aggressive investment strategy. However, this means you will need to save more or extend your working years to accumulate the necessary funds for retirement. Financial advisors generally recommend that investors with decades until retirement could consider allocating 100% of their 401k to diversified stock funds. Those with less than a decade until retirement might start transi transitioning to a more conservative approach over time. Five, average returns for an aggressive 401k. There is no definitive answer to the potential returns on an aggressive portfolio as it depends on the performance of the stocks or stock funds it contains. While stocks can experience significant short-term fluctuations, a broadly diversified stock portfolio has historically yielded substantial long-term gains. For example, the Standard & Poor's 500 index has returned approximately 10% annually. Some of the best performing mutual funds have recently achieved returns exceeding 20% annually. However, these high returns are attainable only with a fully aggressive portfolio composed entirely of stocks. If you need a portion of your portfolio to be more conservative due to an approaching retirement date, incorporating safer but lower yielding bonds will lower your overall returns. It is crucial to remember that stock investments are volatile and achieving these returns requires holding onto your investments through market fluctuations. Let's talk about disadvantages of an overly aggressive 401k portfolio. 
having an excessively aggressive 401k portfolio can lead to several drawbacks, ranging from minor annoyances to significant financial consequences. 1. High Volatility A portfolio heavily weighted in stocks will experience more significant fluctuations. This volatility is manageable with a long time horizon but can be problematic as retirement approaches. 2. Risk of Market Downturns If you are close to retirement and heavily invested in stocks, a market downturn could force you to withdraw funds when prices are low, adversely affecting your long-term retirement finances. 3. Potential for Panic Selling A highly volatile portfolio might prompt you to exit the market during downturns, causing you to miss out on potential recovery gains. Staying invested is key to capitalizing on the market's long-term growth. 4. Insufficient Diversification While a diversified stock portfolio can mitigate some risks, being fully invested in stocks reduces overall diversification. If the stock market experiences broad declines, the lack of diversification can magnify losses. 5. Limited Cash Generation an all-stock portfolio may not produce sufficient cash flow, which, which can be problematic if you need to take distributions. Including bonds or CDs in your portfolio can provide a steady income stream, helping you endure market downturns while remaining invested in stocks for long-term growth. 6. Steps to address an overly aggressive portfolio. If you determine that your portfolio is too aggressive, Several strategies can help you rebalance and reduce risk. 1. Adjust Asset Allocation Begin by reallocating some of your stock investments into bond funds or cash, particularly if you will need the money soon. Finding a balanced allocation that suits your needs and risk tolerance is essential. A more aggressive allocation might consist of 70% or more in stocks, while a conservative one could have, could have a similar proportion in bonds. Maintain this allocation and rebalance periodically to keep it aligned with your target. Often, a market correction is an opportunity to shift more towards stocks, not less, advises Carver. Sticking with a target allocation eliminates the need to make decisions based on market behavior or predictions. 2. Gradual Risk Reduction If you are managing your portfolio independently, start reducing risk approximately 5 years before you intend to access the funds. This gradual adjustment does not require moving entirely to cash and bonds, but rather progressively lowering the overall risk of the portfolio. Three, utilize target date funds. Target date funds automatically adjust the allocation from stocks to bonds as you near your retirement or target date. This approach simplifies the management process and ensures a gradual reduction in portfolio risk. Finally, consult financial advisors. Consider meeting with your financial advisor and your company's 401k advisor annually. 